Uh, Jason, one year ago, this, this was all, you know, as, as far as the Buccaneers with, with Bruce Arians, this was all new. He seems a lot more, uh, not, not just confident one year later, but uh, really excited about the prospect of adding to his team. He knows what he has. Yeah, he does. And he thinks that's even better than what he thought he was walking into. Um, we feel like we made some great additions last year in the draft and free agency. Um, and I still think one of the best off-season acquisitions I've had is hiring Bruce. So uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it was a frustrating year because we know we're a lot better than what our record showed. But um, we're very confident that we're going to be a lot better football team this year. When you look at the list of the picks last year, there were growing pains for just about all of them. But collectively, by the end of the regular season, you then look at that draft and go, yep, yep, yep. So, I mean... A year later, how good do you feel about last year's draft? I feel great, and you know, not only are those great kids, and you know, they got the right mindset, but they're good players. But we've got great coaches that developed them, and we're patient with them, and spend a lot of time getting them ready, and and uh, hanging hanging with them during some early struggles, but realizing that it's going to be worth it at the end. This is one of the wackiest years going into free agency I think I've seen in a long time. You guys are right in the thick of it defensively, offensively. Uh, there's just so many options out there. I mean, and when do you begin to zero in on anything because it's still still a few weeks away? Well, you start zeroing in on, on every scenario uh, a few months ago. So we have to be ready for anything and everything that can happen. So um, we're not going to know for a while now. March 16th is when you can start actually talking to players that aren't on your roster that are UFAs, but so until then, we just have to keep preparing and for every scenario and see what kind of dominoes fall in place. Where exactly are you guys, you and Bruce and, and the staff on Jameis and, and, and where you stand when free agency begins? You said you had a plan in place for whatever scenario comes up, but uh, as a group, where do you guys stand right now on that issue? Well, we like Jameis, and nobody's ruled Jameis out of being our quarterback next year. Um, he's a free agent. Um, there's, it's a you know, pretty large group of free agent class that could potentially be free agents at quarterback. We just need to do our due diligence. We've got to make the right decision. And one of those decisions could be Jameis, and we feel good about it. If you do s decide to get a quarterback, even if it's in a later round, I mean, Bruce said he's okay with developing a guy. Is that something that you guys would be interested in doing? Would love to. If the chips fell our way and we got the guy at the right price, uh, it would be great. I would love to draft a quarterback. And defensively, I mean, everybody wants to stay here. <laughs> And Dama can sue some of these names. Do you feel like in the end there almost has to be a, a victim here? Or do you think there's some way somehow you can keep as many guys as possible defensively? Uh, we're going to do our best to keep them all. Um, it never goes, rarely goes exactly the way that you want it to. Um, you know, there's 31 other teams out there that are probably looking at our guys too. But I feel very good that we're going to get what we're going to get accomplished or what we potentially can because of the, the communication we've had and we know we want them, and they, I know that they like being a part of this.